Wow, what a difference in a few days. Um, we're back in Whitefish. Uh, I got back last night to uh, two down trees in Jason's front yard. So we had to deal with those last night. And then, uh, anyhow, um, back in Whitefish, heading down, taking Dodger for a walk. What up, Dodger? Tell him, what up? And then uh, we're going to go try and fill a 170 Bravo tag for Michael and myself. So we'll be doing that for the balance of the next uh, two weeks, our last two weeks of the trip here. So, uh, <clears throat> out of power, lost power last night around 3 a.m. and didn't get power back till about, I would say, 11. Um, it's about almost 3.30 now. Um, we're gonna go, like I said, we're gonna go do deer hunting, but I have to dodge her for a walk. Uh, plus, I did a bunch of stuff earlier. Uh, lots of snow to shovel off the deck and all this stuff to put away from our trip to uh, Ibex Cabin. But anyhow, check this out. Ducks out on the lake. Oh, blaze. Got some state Montana State Park workers here. snow coming down okay down to the lake and back dodger <laughs> trust me the camo blend is when you're in the woods works out here in the open found out like a sore thumb right but look at this snow Yeah, it was uh, quite a trip, man, up to uh, <clears throat> the crazy mountains. I hiked, I was in the field from dark to dark. Uh, me and Jason were, I was helping Jason try to fill his elk tag. And um, yeah, it was uh, a lot of walking, a lot of glassing where we could glass. And I freaking must have walked over a hundred down trees, hurdle, high hurdle style, but very slow. Um, whew. All right, we gotta go back this way, right? Yeah. All right, well, more to follow. Hopefully the next video will have uh, harvested an animal. All right, out.